This is the second year that we've had Meet the Breeds at the Javits Center. Last year was the inaugural event and it was such a great hit with the New Yorkers that we decided to do it again. This is unlike a dog show or a cat show where you may not be able to touch the dogs or cats because they're getting ready to compete. Exactly opposite at this event. The dogs and cats are here for you to meet them, pet them, play with them, and learn about them. So it's a really fun family event. This is Grand Champion Cats of Rat Star Rose. She is a tortoiseshell Persian. She has been shown uh, as a kitten, and right now she's uh, the Cat Fanciers Association best kitten in the country, and she is just kind of a star in her own right in our household, let alone anywhere else. She's just a star to us. Every day we just have like a little grooming session, which brings us closer, actually, because I'll be watching TV and just combing her and petting her and that type of thing. So um, they, they're an ideal pet for someone that wants to have someone sort of by their side. I'm here with my cat Winter. Winter's a Norwegian forest cat. He's eight years old. He's a fully grown male. They do like to be up high and they like to climb. So yeah, this is not unusual for him at all. Norwegian forest cats literally do come from the forests of Norway, but they've only been in the States about 30 years. It's thought that the Vikings had them on their ships as mousers. Uh, we were trying to decide between Norwegian forest cat and the Maine Coon, and we were sold by their sweet faces. So that's why we ended up with the breed. And this is Cosmo Kramer. So he's kind of famous, I guess, Cosmo Kramer in New York City. And um, he's here to represent the Chinese Crested Breed at the Meet the Breeds for the American Kennel Club. And Cosmo has a birthday coming up in December. He'll be 13 years old. And he's kind of special because his tongue's too long for his mouth. So his tongue is always like that. No, he's not thirsty. The only contest he's ever won was in our hometown in Connecticut. He won the ugliest dog contest in uh, Waterbury, Connecticut. <laughs> so that's his fame prize, and glory. First prize. first prize, first prize. Whether you're a cat fancier or a dog fancier, we're all here for, you, for the public. This is your weekend to get to know and meet and greet all the wonderful animals that we know. You know, we know something that a lot of other people, they have the ability to wrap themselves around your heart and they stay forever, for sure. They're fabulous.